With poetry, I've been able to do something very unique. Because the reason I'm in Wisconsin is because you have here a Department of African Languages and Literature, and it's the only one in the entire country that leads up to the PhD level. So that is why I'm here. I came to study the origins of African American literature from a, as a scholar. In all my writing, I always combined scholarship. And Journey to Wisconsin especially is fascinating to me because when I came here, people in Tennessee asked me, are there any black people in Wisconsin? That's number one. When I got here, number two, <laughs> I was told black people in Wisconsin came from Chicago in the 60s. And so I'm like, that can't be true. So when I was in Memphis, and this time I was in high school, and I only had one African-American teacher, and he was my favorite. He was history. And we were studying other civilizations in the world. And I asked him, well, what did black people give to the world? And he told me we gave music and pottery. And I said, hmm, I know my family, my extended family. We've done more than do music and pottery. And so that started me, it's for me deeper than research. It started me on a journey to discover who I am and who are the people I come from. Every people on the face of the planet have given something to the world. So I began a personal journey as well as a journey as a scholar. I always want to know the truth about myself and about my people and about our contributions. So with Journey to Wisconsin traces back seven generations in Wisconsin. And I read about the first written notation of an African American. He was in the seven hundreds. I read about the African-American traders. There's just this wealth of information that I weave into poetry. I talked to you about how I used to struggle as a young poet over bits and pieces of paper. So a tablet nearby is very easy for me to record on or to say, oh, I have this thought. I'd like to quickly write it down. And so I use the computer to serve me by keeping my poetry um, permanent, by storing it in a cloud, by sending it out, by, okay, I need to find this one exact poem, and then I can just go and search it out on a computer. The hardest part about writing is frankly just to write. But the most work for me with poetry, it means that I am quiet and I'm still and I let it come. I just had some students ask me this week, well, do you write with music on or do you? Um, I love music, so if I'm listening to music, I'm listening to music. It's kind of hard for me to just let it flow in the background. So I pretty much write in silence when I'm doing the complete poem. So I'll of course be somewhere or hear some music and get a line or a thought and write that down. And I'm devoted to it and I carve out time and I keep other things at bay, which will allow me, you know, the opportunity to, uh, to let that creativity flow through me and onto the page. The best thing about writing is the freedom that you have and the fact you give voice. You have a voice in the world. Um, it's a fact that it's a healing tool. It's so wonderful and I don't think people realize this, even if you don't want to be a professional writer, if you're not trying to be a poet, well there are things that you need to write out, that you need to take from the inside to the out and you need to look at them and say, wow, this is really how I feel. Oh, this is hurting me. Oh, I didn't realize that brought me such joy. So I love writing for that. I love it because it, 
Well, of course for me, it's my way of expression in the world. It's my way of being me in the world. But it gives me so many opportunities to be free. And when you stand up and you're sharing your poetry, doesn't matter who disagrees, who doesn't like it, it's your voice in the world. And you're saying, this is who I am, this is what I think, and this is what I'm saying. I wish everybody could have that experience. I want students in Wisconsin to write and to feel really good about writing. When I talk to those students, the thing that is concerning to them is the grade or how to do it well. Well, it's like anything else. The more you do it, the better you get at it. But also, it's such a useful tool, again, even if you don't want to make it your career. I love for students in Wisconsin to feel happy to write, <laughs> just happy. Just knowing that this is a, a beautiful form of communication uh, that just has lasting rewards and benefits. It's your thoughts, it's your perspective, it's your voice, and that's valuable. It's as valuable as you are.